अस्सलाम वालेकुम डियर स्टूडेंट इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ केमिकल इक्विलिब्रियम इन रिवर्सिबल रिएक्शन द रिएक्शन इन विच रिएक्टेंट्स आर कंप्लीटली कन्वर्टेड इनटू प्रोडक्ट्स रिवर्सिबल रिएक्शंस द रिएक्शंस इन विच द प्रोडक्ट्स आर रीकन्वर्टेड इनटू रिएक्टेंट्स दैट इज फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड रिएक्शंस केमिकल इक्विलिब्रियम इज अचीव्ड व्हेन द रेट्स ऑफ फॉरवर्ड एंड रिवर्स रिएक्शंस आर इक्वल एंड द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ द रिएक्टेंट्स एंड प्रोडक्ट्स रिमेंस कांस्टेंट equilibrium between two phases of the same substance is known as physical equilibrium for example the vaporization of a water in a closed container at a given temperature homogeneous equilibria applies to reactions in which all reacting species are in the same phase for example the dissociation of dinitrogen tetroxide into nitrogen dioxide heterogeneous equilibria results from a reversible reaction involving reactants and products that are in different phases for example production of lime from limestone characteristics of chemical equilibrium the concentration of reactants and products remains constant equilibrium can be attained from either side it can be established only if the reaction vessel is closed catalyst does not change the equilibrium position and equilibrium constant of the reaction the value of equilibrium constant does not depend upon the initial concentration of the reactants the concentration of the reacting species in the condensed phase are expressed in moles per liter the concentration of pure solids pure liquids and solvents do not appear in the equilibrium constant expressions the equilibrium constants are dimensionless quantities we must specify the balanced equation and the temperature if a reaction can be expressed as the sum of two or more reactions the equilibrium constant for the overall reaction is given by the by the product of the equilibrium constants of the individual reactions reaction quotient measures the relative amounts of products and reactants present during a reaction Equilibrium constant is the number that expresses the relationship between the amounts of products and reactants present at equilibrium. Predicting the direction of the reaction, there are three possibilities. A, number one, if the reaction quotient is greater than the equilibrium constant, then products must be converted to reactants. That is, the system proceeds from right to left. If reaction quotient is equal to the equilibrium constant, then the system is at equilibrium. While reaction quotient is less than the equilibrium constant, then the reactant must be converted to products. The system proceeds from left to right. Example: amount of nitrogen, amount of hydrogen, and ammonia in a 3.5 liter reaction vessel at 375 degrees and equilibrium constant is 1.2 decide whether the system is at equilibrium and also its direction if it it is not at equilibrium the initial concentration of the reactant species are calculated by putting the values concentration of nitrogen is 0.0711 molar concentration of hydrogen is 9.17 times 10 for minus 3 molar and concentration of ammonia is 1.83 times 10 for minus 4 molar putting these values in in equilibrium expression we can get the value of reaction quotient which is smaller than the equilibrium constant so that reaction is not at equilibrium and the reaction will proceed from left to right side if we know the equilibrium constant for a particular reaction we can calculate the concentration in the equilibrium mixture from the initial concentration consider system of cis stilbene and trans stilbene the equilibrium constant for this system is 24 temperature is 200 and the initial concentration of cis stilbene is 0.850 mol per liter so we can calculate the concentration of trans stilbene at equilibrium here initial concentration of cis stilbene and trans stilbene 
concentration at equilibrium positive change represent an increase and negative change a decrease in concentration at equilibrium now we set up equilibrium constant expression by putting the values we have found the value of x having solved for x we can calculate the concentration of cis still bean that is 0.034 molar trans still bean 0.816 molar at equilibrium Example 2 Hydrogen iodine was placed in 1 liter stainless steel flask at temperature 430 degrees and the equilibrium constant for this reaction is 54.3 Calculate the concentration of hydrogen iodine and, and hydrogen iodide at equilibrium Initial concentration of reactants and products Concentration at equilibrium Substituting the values in equilibrium expression, taking the square root of both sides, we get the value of x and solving the value of x, we can find out the concentration of hydrogen that is 0.107 molar, concentration of iodine 0.107 molar and concentration of hydrogen iodide is 0.786 molar. Example 3, for the same reaction, initial concentration of hydrogen, iodine and hydrogen iodide and the concentration at the equilibrium, putting these values in equilibrium expression, it is not possible to solve this equation by the square root, so we must first carry out the multiplication. This is a quadratic equation, putting the value in the quadratic equation, we find out the value of x. The first solution is physically impossible, since the amounts of hydrogen and iodine re reacted would be more than those originally present. Therefore, having solved the value of f x, we can calculate the concentrations are hydrogen 0 0.00467 molar, Concentration of iodine is 0.00258 molar and concentration of hydrogen iodide is 0.0255 molar. Factors that affect chemical equilibrium. Changes in experimental conditions may disturb the balance and shift the equilibrium. Factors which affect the equilibrium are concentration, pressure, volume and temperature. The Shetlier principle. According to him, if an external stress is applied to a system at equilibrium, the system adjusts in such a way that the stress is partially offset. Here, stress means pressure, concentration, volume or temperature that shifts a system from the equilibrium state. Changes in concentration. If we increase the concentration of reactants, the reaction will shift from left to right. And if we reduce the concentration of the products or remove the some quantity of the product then again and then reaction will proceed from left to right changes in pressure a change, the increase in pressure on above reaction will lead to the side where where volume is less that is the formation of more ammonia no effect of pressure in following example because the volume of both side is same Effect of catalyst, it has equal effect on forward and backward reactions. Effect of temperature, increase in temperature favors for endothermic reaction while decrease in temperature favors exothermic reactions. Summary, only a change in temperature changes the value of equilibrium constant while changes in concentration, pressure and volume can change the equilibrium concentration of the reacting mixtures but they cannot change the equilibrium constant as long, long as the temperature doesn't change and catalyst has no effect it just speed up the process applications in in industrial process it is important to get the product as quickly and as efficient as possible the production must be economical for example steam methane reforming 
Here carbon monoxide is used in meat coloring and the production of acetic acid. Hydrogen is used in nuclear power. Harbor process for production of ammonia. Ammonia is used uh, in fertilizer to maximize crop yield. Ammonia also used in household cleaners, in woodworks, methanol production which is used in feedstock and further production of formaldehyde and formaldehyde is used in the production of plastic, plywood, paints, explosive and textiles, methanol also used as a fuel. Production of sulfur dioxide is used in the production of sulfuric acid, sodium hydrogen phosphate, bleaching agent, digesting agent and photoelectric cells and solar energy devices. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel. Take care. Allah Hafiz.